Hello, this is Michael with Beyond 20. Today we're going to be discussing some new features from Sharewell Service Management version 10. Uh, specifically, we're looking at the change request and we're looking at some new features there. Um, the item in question we're going to be discussing is the change model. So if you look on the screen here, we have a new change request. We've got our change type specified and then we are going to look at the change model. The cool thing of the change model is that it lets us autofill in information as if these were templates here. It fills in certain information. As you can see here, we filled in the title, description, the team, the service affected, justification, and this will help pre-fill out your change request. Uh, if you have certain changes that are performed uh, frequently. Uh, we can view these change models uh, by going through the search manager and go to change model under the association, go to all change requests. And from here, we can take a look here. Now this is information from the demo czar for version 10. And so in here we have certain fields. These fields then are mapped to the information when the relationship is formed using the related item picker. Um, so that pulls this information from the record. As you can see on this object, it only has a handful of fields. We've got back out, implementation, justification, service, and team, description, and title. Um, but it should be fairly simple to expand that if need be. Now, the way that it's linked is if we go here to the admin client, we go to change request, and we go to edit relationship. We will see an um, item here for change model, which is a one-to-one. -one. Right there, change request links change model. This is what links that in there on the actual change request form. This is something that's exciting uh, for support for out of the box content for the change request module. Please look forward to our other videos on change request coming soon. Thank you.